Hey friends, welcome back to another vlog. In this video, I'll be taking you with me as I show you my medical school study routine and how I stay motivated on these days where I have to study for long hours. At just past 7am, I wake up from a full night of sleep. After browsing social media for a bit, I get up and do some early morning cardio on the elliptical. I've been recently trying to get more workouts incorporated into my morning routine to help me stay fit and active as I find I'm just not in the mood to do so in the afternoons. This prevents me from being, in the words of the great Ali Abdal, a complete waste man. During my workout, I decide to watch a couple episodes of the anime Seven Deadly Sins on Netflix. Not only does it serve as my entertainment, but also as a timer because I'm currently focusing on being able to finish two episodes or about 40 minutes of cardio. After the workout session, I head down for a quick breakfast of oatmeal before preparing for my study session for the day. After a quick change of clothes, I look through the tasks I need to accomplish on my GTD dashboard, which includes studying the lectures assigned for today, doing my Anki cards, and preparing for an SGD I have the following day. I'm currently in my oncology module, which is one of the modules I've been looking forward to the most since cancer is something that interests me a lot and is one of the most rapidly advancing fields within medicine. I set my forest timer for one hour and start my session by doing my Anki card reviews for the day. I always start my study session by reviewing content I previously learned as this is my application of active recall and space repetition and is basically what allows me to reinforce the connections that I've made in the past and remember them for longer. By using Anki, I don't have to think about what I have to review next because the algorithm built into Anki will do it for me. All I have to do is do my reviews every day. It may seem hard at first, but as you become more familiar with the concepts, you'll breeze through the cards very quickly. It is important to note though that I don't make a lot of cards per lecture because I make a point to only make cards on concepts that I won't be able to easily memorize through understanding alone. For example, discrete facts such as what cancer of the bone is the most common in children are must-make cards since that type of information isn't something that you can just remember by logic alone. However, making cards for larger concepts is harder because they cover a much broader set of information. What I've done to alleviate this problem is to make statements such as explain Noel's hypothesis, then place the entire explanation for the concept underneath. Then, if I can explain the concept similarly to the way that I originally wrote it down, I consider it a pass during my anchor review session. Otherwise, I go through it again until I get it right. After finishing my reviews for the day, I begin work studying the lectures assigned for the day. I start the lecture in Rehabilitation Oncology, which basically covers the type of management you need to do depending on the phase of treatment the patient is undergoing. For example, the goals for managing a patient during their treatment would be to prevent the side effects associated with cancer treatments such as nausea and vomiting from the chemotherapy. Compared to this, patients who are in the late stages of their cancer and only have a few months left to live will have palliation goals instead, meaning you want to maximize the quality of their life as they near the end. And I make a note of this by making the appropriate active recall questions in Notion. As I mentioned in previous videos, active recall is my primary method of studying whereby I make questions for myself based on the lectures. Since the shift to the online class setup, I've stopped taking notes entirely and just relied on this system. So far, it has performed as good as my previous study routine of highlighting the chances during the lecture then creating flashcards afterwards, but now with the ability to just play and pause the lectures, I get the benefit of simply just generating the questions as I go along, which saves me a lot of time. After finishing the rehab lecture, I move on to studying the pain management lecture. This isn't part of the oncology module, but a part of another module meant to complement it. I don't make any active recall questions for this lecture since I'm evaluated for this module based on the quizzes I have at the end of every lecture. However, I still apply the concepts of active recall in my head asking myself questions on the previously covered material as I go through the lecture. And even after my quiz, I make sure to review the material on the items that I got wrong to make sure to fill in the gaps in my knowledge exposed by the questions. At 11.30, I decide to take a quick lunch break and have lunch of a rice and pork binago onan while watching another couple episodes of 7 Deadly Sins. I resume my work at 1pm starting with the head and neck surgery lecture. I decide to make my active recall questions based on the chance for this lecture since the lecture wasn't that organized when I went through it the previous day. Feeling the afternoon slump, I decide to apply the anime Doro technique to help me power through the afternoon. I'll go over the finer details in a future video, but the anime Doro technique is a modified Pomodoro technique whereby you do 40 to 60 minutes of work followed by an episode of anime. I first learned about it from the YouTuber Josh Chen 
and I've been using it regularly in my daily study sessions to help me get a lot of work done. Compared to the typical Pomodoro technique of 25 minutes of work and 5 minutes of rest, Anime Doro gives a boost to my work because it sets a definite reward that has a consistent amount of time and it's during this time that I get to relax and watch my favorite shows. And you need not be limited to anime, you can also use any show so long as it has a consistent length and doesn't exceed the 20 minute break time allotted. I spend the afternoon cranking out 4 more Anime Doro sessions and manage to finish all the lectures for the day. To celebrate a job well done, I decide to have dinner and relax for a bit. After an hour or so, I sit back down at my desk to do a bit of reading for my SGD the following day. The topic is on breast cancer and given I'm a third year medical student, I have to familiarize myself with the different diagnostic tests and procedures that will be used to manage the patient. So I go over some of the international guidelines for breast cancer management as well as doing some of my own research online. I note down all the important points onto a Google Doc and do this until 10.30 before I decide to call it a night and start preparing myself for bed. If you guys enjoyed this video, Please make sure to check out my other study tips in this playlist here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.